Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to use your phone to read text online or anywhere that's written in a language that you don't know how to speak. Twitter has a translate option for the text of the tweet, but this can be a useful way to read text embedded within an image. So I want to look at two social media accounts. This is the Twitter feed of the Office of the President of Ukraine, and it's written in Ukrainian. And this is Maria Alohina's Instagram. She's a member of the band Pussy Riot and Russian political activist. So since I don't read Ukrainian, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to open the Google application. And to the right of the search field, there's a little camera icon, and that's Google Lens. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Opening Google Lens will open a camera view. And down at the bottom, you'll have a few options of what you want Google Lens to do. Normally, selected by default, there will be search. But if you go over twice to the left, you get the translate option. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to hover my Google Lens over the Twitter feed of the office of the president of Ukraine. And a translation will appear right over the words on the screen. So for example, if you wanted to know who was in the photo, we can see that the text on the photo says, at the conference in Lugano, Elena Zelenskaya announced the second summit of first ladies and gentlemen. Now let's take a look at Instagram. So here's all Mary's Instagram and at the top, Right over here, you have a highlighted Instagram story. So let's click on it. And in the very first shot, she's holding a document. So if we pause it, pause the video, that'll give us a chance to read a little translation of it. It will take a few moments for the tool to work. Take your time and don't hesitate to tilt or move your phone. So sometimes the translations offered in Google Lens aren't super complete, or sometimes they're obviously nonsensical. But in this case, the translation allows us to figure out exactly what this document is. And I, who speak no Ukrainian or Russian at all, can tell that this is a ballot for a referendum. And the question is, do you approve changes to the Constitution of the Russian Federation? I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please don't hesitate to leave any comments or questions in the comments section. And if you're looking for in-depth training for journalists and journalism students, check out AFP's online courses at digitalcourses.afp.com.